we see Islamic finance doing, uh, it takes from different madhahi, like the Majma al fiqh al-Islami in what they do. Uh, sometimes they take things that are not the predominant opinion of the madhahi, like the issue of uh, uh, making it compulsory upon the one who makes an, uh, an irrevocable promise to be, uh, uh, to be held responsible for that, which is a position of the Maliki fit against it is Mufradat al -Madhab. It's only the Maliki fit that has this opinion against all the other fit madahi. And uh, they took the issue of Arbon, which is also among the Mufradat, is, uh, is the Hanbali opinion. But because it uh, conforms with that spirit of ease in the Sharia and trying to find a way out for, uh, for the Muslim, whatever he is, he is doing, I uh, will take from different madahi. We find a way out for a Muslim to do what is halal, not to find a way out, a trick to do what is haram. This is what is acceptable. And uh, uh, we are really, we have room to be proud of what our ulama have done uh, since the beginning of the century, right from people like uh, Muhammad Abdul Rashid Rida, and then Sayyid Abul Ayyad Maududi, and his students, and what came later in what the, uh, the now outstanding ulama in the Majma al fiqh al-Islami are doing. We are highly indebted to them. May Allah uh, uh, bless them and give us the benefit of their knowledge. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the insight on the challenges of uh, Sharia scholars in applying Sharia in the modern world in general and Islamic finance in specific. Looking at Dr. Bashir with his uh, song pop, I think he is more patriotic. He's more Malaysian than Malaysia. <laughs> because uh, we just celebrated our national day. <laughs> but two days, three days back. And no Malaysian is very so good today. Right? Uh, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll come back to Malaysia. Dr. Azman. Uh, he's a bit unique uh, in the sense that he sits on the, for I mean, uh, quite a number of years on the Shah and Port of Araji, Malaysia. Uh, they have uh, I mean, they are old. I mean, if uh, you look at the, the Saudi bank, they might be seen as the more the, the strict, the most strict bank the most applied Sharia. And he is here. In, the bank is here in Malaysia, applying Sharia within our framework. So that makes him a bit unique. I was with him also in Raji before, but he continues to serve Raji. Uh, can we? I think. Uh, can we uh, stop at about 10, uh, 11, 35 or 11, 40? Huh? Okay. Uh, so because we started late, so uh, 11, 40, so 10 minutes late than the share group. Yeah? I, I hope that it's okay with the audience. So please, uh, Dr. Azman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Prof. Shaf. Uh, I respect it, I guess. And, and my colleagues. Um, thank you very much for giving me this uh, opportunity to share with you uh, some of my opinions and also experience. Uh, to start with, um, uh, I would like to share with you uh, about my experience uh, uh, at International Islamic University of Malaysia, teaching, uh, being assigned to teach uh, a, 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 a was called Fiqh uh, al-Masrafiha uh, al-Islamiyya. At that time, uh, years ago, Dr. Akram was the head of the department. Actually, the idea was initiated a long time ago, and then he was only introduced years after that, after he left. And I was the one who was assigned to develop the uh, course, Fiqh al-Masrafiha al-Islamiyya. So we have Fiqh of Medicine. Nowadays, we have a lot of uh, divisions of Fiqh. Fiqh al-Siyala, uh, Fiqh Siyasa, and we have uh, recently we have a big for Islamic banking. The course is taught in Arabic. And uh, uh, interestingly, uh, in the beginning we uh, introduced uh, Fiqh Masrafiya Al Islamia Al Aswak Maria. In the beginning, we, uh, the course combines between Islamic banking and capital market, Islamic capital market. But it seems like uh, it's not sufficient to teach both Islamic banking and capital market. From Fiqh perspective, we are focusing on the 
uh, uh, on the fixed perspective, uh, fit issues uh, pertaining to the uh, operations, products, uh, and also uh, anything related to the sound banking. So in, uh, what I want to say is it is uh, very dynamic and uh, there are so many uh, changes, so many developments. And uh, in this case, uh, we, uh, I mean, from China perspective, uh, uh, those who are involved, the scholars, must be uh, cons must must consider those uh, situations and those changes. Okay, uh, uh, those changes okay, in the market, but uh, still, okay, still uh, within uh, the the ambit of, of the China. Interestingly, uh, there are uh, even for the deposit takings, okay, there are many changes. Uh, we are focusing on Doraba so much before, but now uh, uh, the, the regulatory requirement for the CASA current account, for example, we cannot use Doraba anymore. So uh, we are focusing on the court based account. Uh, so this also involved the, change, the changes in the uh, curriculum uh, because of the uh, market practice. But to, just to share with you, uh, uh, I mean, uh, even uh, uh, for uh, the agency level, uh, for, for, for FIX in particular, we have a, 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 I mean a program and a course, and, and this course is also open to, okay, open, open to improvement from time to time. <clears throat> so uh, there are so many challenges, uh, and before, for example, we are focusing uh, on INA, and now the, the industry is also getting away from INA. So uh, it is dynamic. Uh, we are uh, focusing on more uh, how to conclude, for example, uh, the, the community of uh, uh, Tawaru based on uh, Sharia compliance, uh, uh, based on Sharia compliance means. To share with you, uh, in the industry, as Prof. Asha said, um, uh, because he mentioned something about Raji, uh, even at Raji Bank, uh, there, are, there are new uh, products and uh, new innovations. Recently, uh, uh, at, at their branch in, in Jordan, uh, they have introduced uh, uh, to do an auto trading uh, for uh, the, they don't, they, they don't call a credit card, but because they have only trash card, where the bank doesn't make any profit from it. But the recent uh, development, they have Murabaha card, where they have uh, made a particular arrangement with a particular vendors department stores, shopping, shopping complex, restaurants, for example. So anytime the customer uh, wants to uh, buy goods, and then they will do the murabaha. Uh, but that will be done through the system. Just like we use the normal credit card. Uh, but, I mean, uh, must be, uh, the, 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 the waiter should sell. I mean, the system, they develop a system where the, the system will sell the info, and then uh, the machine at the bank will give the approval and then they will record it. So uh, the formation of the transaction will, uh, will be done. I just want to share with you, I mean, how, uh, how the industry, how the systems, they can still in line with the Shah principle uh, and can, can uh, facilitate okay, the, the need of the market. The reason why I mentioned this is uh, some players in the market, uh, they take it for granted uh, when it comes to Shania compliance, they say it's very difficult. You want to, to, to switch, you want to make a, a hijrah or migration from the Motoraba account into uh, community Motoraba. Some, I was told that some uh, of the uh, big boys in the market, big companies, for example, when it comes to uh, deposit taking, when we say we want to introduce new product, which is uh, capital, which is community Motoraba, we was told. They say I, want, I don't want to do the uh, to, to I don't want to sign. I just want to to receive the 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 the, 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 the profit. We call it profit. <laughs> I don't want to do to have a proper uh, signature, proper conclusion of the transaction. So this is among the challenges in the market where uh, sometimes the players uh, they don't want to do it. Uh, to, they they regard this to be difficult, but it's not difficult because we want to fulfill the requirement of the contract. But uh, the thing is, sometimes we can develop the system. So uh, to, uh, it's not a reason for you uh, to break a mediation and file. You can do it. You can develop the system. The system can, uh, for example, uh, notify 
you can even uh, the contract is done verbally, but you have to do you must have the confirmation of the transactions. Uh, among the reasons why sometimes in the market uh, uh, spill, even in Malaysia, we have been here, we have been uh, introducing Islamic banking for more than 30 years. Uh, still, uh, some group of the uh, communities uh, they are complaining about uh, Islamic banks. They say Islamic banks don't do uh, uh, things right way or they don't do halal transactions. So, uh, so we have a situation where uh, someone might ask, for example, Mufti or Ustaz, for example. I take a loan from Islamic Bank, 100,000, and I have to pay to 120, for example. So the question itself is not correct. I take a loan, huh? because uh, we don't call a loan, we call a financing, a facility. And of course, we do it through the uh, uh, form, through a uh, uh, correct uh, uh, commodity transactions. Okay, and then uh, we do a, a, a proper transactions, and then the customer, for example, get a deposit from the sale of the commodities. So uh, sometimes, uh, I mean, uh, such kind of ignorance still, okay, still happens in the market, in the public, and we have to educate uh, our, 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 our public uh, more on, on some banking. But um, uh, our concern uh, uh, at this stage is, uh, uh, even uh, from, the, uh, from, the, from the regulatory perspective, is uh, to make sure it's not only by name. When you call it Islamic bank, when you call it Islamic product, Islamic, uh, final, uh, Islamic company product, Okay, uh, it must be a real signing uh, compliance compared to the conventional one. That's why we uh, do have um, uh, a proper Shanghai and governance framework. We have Shanghai and audit, and then uh, we have a proper uh, a reporting system, and then uh, also uh, there must be purifications when there are uh, Shanghai and non-compliance okay, uh, circumstances. Uh, the, 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 the income should not be uh, recognized, and this monitoring is continuous. So, uh, so far for the time being, uh, Alhamdulillah, in, in, in Malaysia, uh, we have uh, such a very good uh, Sharia governance framework where every uh, players must have a proper Sharia uh, committee and Sharia committees, fatwas or rulings, opinions must be binding and there must also be, uh, uh, I mean, uh, audit and must be, I mean, they, they, in the secretariat, they have uh, audit uh, divisions and they also have a super, uh, supervisory uh, consultancy and so on and so forth and uh, I, I think uh, moving forward uh, uh, we are actually um, uh, improving from time to time and uh, to be honest we also learn from others and uh, and uh, those who just want to start to introduce like in some countries they are actually very lucky because they don't have to do hard works huh? everything is already done you already have the model <laughs> you, already have, you don't need to, to develop from scratch because uh, we already have models and you can follow uh, those models. Uh, it's, it's not a uh, try and error. Uh, in the past, uh, many, in, in, in many cases, uh, many products, sometimes the players okay, spend time, okay, but they fail. For example, the product uh, uh, fail and sometimes was not approved uh, by the uh, Benegara. And you know, even sometimes, even if already launched in the market, still they have to withdraw. The products because of the uh, share and compliance issues. So I think uh, uh, we can share, and uh, we also uh, want to learn from others uh, in, the, in the Middle East. Uh, uh, they are also very good in developing uh, new products, uh, some banking and crypto market. And I think we uh, should uh, help each other uh, in improving and also uh, to promote better, uh, to promote uh, Islamic banking around the globe. Thank you, Tazman. The panelists will still be around uh, for you to approach them, to ask them personally uh, outside this uh, location. But if you think you can't sleep tonight, except to ask now, then I open one or two. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Not that time. So that time cannot sleep. Uh, after the gentleman. Assalamu alaikum. This is a question for Tazma. So regarding the Islamic finance, oh sorry, I am Mawad Hassan, I am a student in Formensif. <coughs> regarding the current practice you talked about, we are moving from Mina products which are more controversial and we are moving towards pure Islamic finance. So regarding the thing is that the basic concept is, there is a comment plus a question. Islam talks about debt. Dying as a debtor is considered as a shame in Islam. 
even profit doesn't lead to another prayer for a data. So on that concept, that is considered as the first thing because we earn money and people are more greed, they want more money to buy something which they cannot afford in first place. Not talking about the Garuriya, talking about the Tahsiniya or more than that. <coughs> and the Islamic finance and commodity Murabaha, the first nature is a um, human have a need and he go to the market and buy the thing. But if you see in commodity Murabaha, no one needs the commodity in the first place. That's the question asked by the public today. No one needs the commodity in the first place. The bank does this transaction just to get some extra money from the customer. This is the perspective of public, 90% of the public they have today. And that makes them to feel that Islamic finance is in its conventional. And what, will, what is your answer for these kind of questions which is posed by the public? That's my question. Thank you, Mr. Hassan. Just a question to Dr. Yahya. Uh, I think at the moment, of course, I think we are trying our level best to do whatever that we can. You see, in promoting Islamic finance and whatnot. At the same time, we can also see that the movement which is going against Islamic finance. Right? Of course, I'm not claiming that Islamic finance today is perfect. I think at least we have done something, we have already, you know, I mean, the, I mean, the journey, of course the journey is still very long, okay, but sometimes, you know, those people who are going against the notion of Islamic finance, they are discouraging people, they are demotivating people like us who are doing uh, Islamic finance, you see, and try to improve whatever that we can do in Islamic finance, and sometimes, they are just talking that, oh, the model that we have is not perfect, it's not good, it's, 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 it's against the Sharia and whatnot, but there is no perfect model that is being offered over this one twice. I think you can observe the two questions need to be asked now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Akram and Mr. Hassan. So please, uh, Dr. Yahya, yeah? or Dr. Azman, you want to respond? Shukran, uh, thank you very much for our brother for that uh, question. Uh, first of all, some of the banks now, uh, they don't uh, give financing for uh, lavish, okay, lavish spending to buy luxury, luxurious cars, for example, they don't give some of the banks. They take into consideration what is the purpose of the uh, uh, financing. Number two, uh, normally when uh, we talk about uh, Tawar, uh, uh, m m uh, I mean in general, uh, most of them, most of the banks, they use Tawaru for personal financing. So uh, some banks in the Middle East, they don't have these products, personal financing. There is no personal financing; they only have murabah. Okay, uh, so the customer, the customer really wants to have the house. The customer really wants to have the the, the car, for example. Then they can uh, get uh, that uh, financing uh, from the bank. But in some situations, the customer needs cash means money, personal financing to further studies, to get married. Of course, we cannot do murabaha on your wife. Huh? We cannot buy her your wife and sell it to you with a market price. Then, so, 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 sorry? <laughs> on human being, I mean, the sad effect of the sale must be, I mean, the uh, uh, sharing companies, the work must be permissible in order to transfer. Uh, that's why even in, in, in Tawaru, you cannot be Tawaru on uh, gold and silver because you cannot sell gold and silver okay, on different payment. So um, uh, the, the, the thing is, I mean, to facilitate the transaction, the bank uh, cannot, uh, the bank is not, uh, another thing is not a, a charitable organization, okay, uh, it's not a fair organization, the bank is making profit, so the bank says the only alternative or the only product that we have, we sell to the community and it's up to you. Like it's, uh, in Saudi, for example, for first personal financing, they are selling cars and the customer will sell in the market. And in the past, the scholars mentioned they are selling, for example, uh, rice and then the customer who is in need of liquidity will sell in the market. So uh, in the modern uh, practice now, they are selling to palm oil and other commodities, uh, and other, uh, I mean other commodities to facilitate the transaction of, of tower. So uh, if you ask me whether they are in need, of course, they are not in need of debt rise or debt CPO, but they are in need of cash for other, for other reasons. 
Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, to to facilitate and to uh, for the bank in order to make it permissible for the bank to, to charge profit, of course the bank has to sell something to you. So you have to take the ownership and then you sell in the market and then you get the cash. Even if you don't want to keep uh, that commodity, uh, it's up to you. There, in the beginning, uh, when we started our business in Malaysia, Raji, uh, they were, we were selling to the customers uh, of goods, okay, uh, like uh, like Milo, uh, uh, evaporated milks, and uh, they were they were there was a situation the customer wants to take delivery of Milo, one hundred thousand of Milo. I don't I don't want to, to have cash. I don't want to sell it. I want to have Milo. So they get the Milo. They sell the same in. Uh, Commodity, moral baha, uh, as done by Bursa, they say if you want to take delivery, you can take delivery. We try to make it as real as we can. The transaction is not fictitious. Okay, the real transaction, okay, the real offer acceptance, the real assumption of the risk, okay, and then you can let it go in the market in order to get to get cash. So far, uh, that is the alternative that we have. Perhaps in future, okay, we can innovate. We can do more research to to innovate more products. Allah well, Hamdulillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I, uh, uh, Professor Laldin, uh, question is a very important question. Uh, I want to uh, preface my answer with uh, a serious scenario which we should prepare ourselves for in the river free banking movement. Uh, we all boast about the United Kingdom is doing the Islamic finance and Sukuk, France, Germany, every corner of of the world is doing Islamic banking, hallelujah, mashallah, mashallah. But we need to ask ourselves, is this because they believe in it as a divine requirement on them to do riba free financing or because of the expediency of their need for capital and the capital is transferred in that format? I say this because when that need dries out, we may be in for a big surprise, and that is to shut us down. So how do we prevent that from happening? We should <clears throat> do the best we can with the new generations, with the mothers, like I said with the families, at school, in the movies, in the sitcoms, in the books, in the cartoons, to stress living riba free. And it's not only interest, it is not only gharar, it is the lifestyle you need. The bank office of the riba free bank should not be lavish. The car the riba free bank is driving doesn't have to be a Mercedes, it can be a proton. Wonderful protons. I drive a smart car in America. I'm not ashamed of it. It isn't the car that makes you. It is you who makes you. How you make a difference in the community. And that we need to do. Do you want to tell me that there's not enough money in the Islamic banks in Malaysia to have a fund for 50 million ringgit to start an advertising campaign? You know how they advertise for alcohol? You know how? Well, I come from Egypt, and my wife and I sit and watch the old movies. And we discovered that advertising for alcohol and belly dancing was done a long time in the Egyptian movies. Whenever the lead actor or actress want to have fun, and farah, which means happiness, go to the nightclub, have a few drinks, and dance. Whenever he has a problem, you go to the nightclub, have a few drinks, and dance. And whenever in America you want to sell Coca-Cola, the lead actor or actress would be drinking Coca-Cola and be very happy, or driving the preferred car and would be very happy, or going to Chase Manhattan and be very happy to find a nice car. Can we develop smart, intelligent, subliminal messages in the movies, in the TV programs, in the cartoons, and so on? And that is part of your responsibility as a Sharia school. It's not only going in and saying halal, haram, model, this and that. It is influencing. What are we going to say? We need to you are more. Even if it hasn't, what you are going to let him ask. And so you invite people with hikmah, wisdom, and good way of preaching. Because, wallah, 
if we do not change this careless attitude by the public. We've been at it for 50 years, 50 years of our lives. We've been trying to get the public, the masses, to get to support Islamic banking. They tell you, oh, what's the difference? Oh, uh, these people are fooling us. They are not doing really 100% halal. Oh, look at them. They are doing this and that. Well, if you are a large mass of customers in a bank and they are doing something wrong, you will have the power to bring forward your ideas and your... But, wallahi, and it, it might be sooner than you think much sooner than you think. Who would have ever thought that Iraq would be divided into four countries, or Sudan very soon, two and very soon to be four? Who would have ever thought of some of the big things that had Ukraine? Used to be the biggest manufacturer of arms in the Soviet Union, nuclear weapons, nuclear submarines, tanks, and what have you, broken up the way it is broken up. Things happen. And we need to prepare ourselves to the unimaginable. Please open your accounts with Riba Re banks. And those who talk down, like Dr. Nardi was telling us, just tell them, you know, brother, we start from the possible to achieve the impossible. In the Masu'al, it says, Aisha radiallahu anha an Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala, ما خير رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بين أمرين إلا اختار أيسرهما. Whenever he was asked the solution of a problem and given two solutions, which one he would start with? The easier to achieve, and he progressively moved on to achieve the difficult one. And last point. إنما الأعمال بالنيات ولكل امرئ منكم ما نوى. It all depends on your need. Uh, I come from America, and there are people who try to promote their companies and their ways by attacking others. Oh, they are not Muslim enough. And we cannot stop them. But you can train your staff and your team never to respond. Because you should show high moral ground. You smile and let Allah take care of them. You know the hadith of uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when a person sat down in a meeting and he was cursing and cursing and cursing, criticizing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then Sayyidina Umar got very upset and he responded to him, angry, the Prophet left the meeting. So he ran behind him and he said, what happened Ya Rasulullah? He said that Allah was defending you all the time. You were quiet. And the minute you started responding, the angels of Allah have left the room, and I cannot sit in this room with the shaitan. Remember that. You do not respond by criticizing and discrediting others. Do the best you can. And put your trust in Allah. And inshallah you will achieve, inshallah. But prepare for the unimaginable because it is coming. And when it comes, you will not believe what will happen. May God bless you. Assalamu alaikum Thank you very much. And thanks to all the panelists for your, uh, for your views. So, I'll hand over this to the side. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are glad to have you here. And we are also pleased to have the opportunity to contribute to your understanding about Islamic finance and at the same time, La Riba also. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the end of this session, and we hope that all of you have been one or two things during this 
insightful and impactful deliberation about Islamic finance. Thank you very much for attending. Wa billahi tawfiq wa lihidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.